everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more of Story of Seasons. I am Gamer Chick, and I am your host for this evening. And every evening, if you guys watch my videos on a daily basis, which some of you do, and I am so, so grateful for that. But uh, a short recap on what has been happening. I have planted nine, what, nine patches of tomatoes, somewhere along the lines of like 10 patches of onions in our rented field. We have made contact with the first harvest sprites of the game, and they sent us a letter in the previous episode. And we have also learned more about challenging rivals, or I guess challenging other farmers for fields. And my cow is pregnant, and it won't give birth for like a few weeks, apparently. So our current goal, our current goal in the game, is to get a chicken coop. That is our goal. I mean, our overall goal. I mean, to be honest with you, my main goal is to upgrade some tools and earn some money and then take it from there because there's like a hundred bajillion things I would like to do. But um, I do want a chicken coop and I do want more animals. So that is going to be my focus for the next few episodes. So I hope you guys have faith in me because we're in it for the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and do some running around the farm, talk to some people, do some fishing, maybe not some fishing, some diving, taking care of our other crops and whatnot, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Oh, all this junk in my field, it's gotta go. What a joke. All this dirt and trash, and I don't know why I'm trying to feel, or, uh, feel. Uh, feel. Oh, fill. Fill my watering can. It was already full. Look at these crops. They're growing. Look at my onions. This is one smelly crop field, but it's okay because it's going to make me so much money. So much money. Oh, I caught my first brick in the river, guys. Oh my gosh. You guys told me that I could catch bricks in the river, and I have finally found one. It's only, oh my god, I found two in a row. What are the odds of that? That is so unlikely. You guys told me that bricks were, like, super freaking rare, and I found two in a row in this river. Maybe we can make it three. Probably not. Oh, wow. So if you guys know of any other ways to get bricks other than diving for them, by all means, please let me know down in the comment section below. I really don't know if there's another way to get bricks or not. But I found two, and that's all that matters. More ha ha ha. Hello, Jonas. How are you today? I would like to accept a request. Let's see. Ship out flowers, fish, products such as wool, eggs. I cannot take any of these. Actually, maybe the small carp. I'll go ahead and accept that one, because I do a lot of fishing, and we, we catch a lot of stuff, so... We're gonna go ahead and accept that one, and the Silk Country still recommended shipping settings are tools. And I am not shipping her tools. She doesn't need tools. I need tools. Okay, hello Silk Country. I would like to ship my stuff to you, even though I really don't have that much to ship. I'd like to go ahead and get them out of my inventory, pretty please. All of these fish that I have found, they are yours. Please take them. I don't want them. I need the money for it though, thank you. And oh, no, I wasn't done. I keep doing that every time. Let me ship my bugs to, And then I want to see if she has any other crops for sale. Um, I'm really still tempted to buy another cow, even though like I really don't need to because my cow is pregnant, but it is very, very tempting to buy another cow. So let me buy items. Let me see if you have any more. Oh, you have soybean seeds, a crop that grows well year round. Takes up about a month. Whoa, takes about a month and a half to harvest and produces up to nine. You need a sickle to harvest it. Huh. Well then, I guess I could plant a couple of these. Give me like, I guess five. Takes a month and a half to harvest. That is insane. That is ridiculous. She has some more tomato seeds, too. It grows well in the summer. Oh, I sh probably shouldn't buy any more of those. I mean, it's real tempting, but... I mean, we're only on day three, but it takes 11 to 13 days. So, or actually, we're on day four, and there's only 30 days in summer. I mean, if I plant some more right now, it might be worth it. Oh... I'll just buy the rest of these grain seeds. There we go. That'll make up for me not buying any more um, 
any more tomato seeds. Okay, and we're good on that part. Let's go ahead and look at the blueprints one more time to make sure there's nothing else I need. Specifically the tools. The tools. I need tools. Oh, I really want the chicken coop. I really want it. I want the chicken coop so bad. Okay, a copper hoe. That might come in handy. And the watering can. I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Oh, uh, both of these? No, I bought the hoe. That's good enough for me. I'm not buying anything else until I get some more... Until I get some more money! Because that was 6,000! Oh my gosh! And now I'm broke again. It's okay, because we're gonna have some more income coming in very, very soon. And uh, all will be well. So let's run in here and give Rager a gift. Or Rieger, or whatever you guys want to call him. Let's give him a gift real quick. I, I need to get something out of my bag. Let's see. What what do I have? I have seaweed. That's right. I have seaweed for you, future husband. Oh, hey, thank you. Oh, you are you are so welcome. Please don't do that. Hello. Okay, I'm, I'm in his kitchen, and he doesn't like it when we're in the kitchen. So we're just going to leave. We're going to head back to our farm, and we're going to plant these seeds that we bought. From the silk country because we bought we bought quite a bit of seeds and they're gonna take a long time to harvest but i think the investment will pay off i think it will pay off so let's go ahead and head back to the house okay before we do any planting since i bought that blueprint from the silk country we're gonna go ahead and build an upgraded hoe we're gonna go ahead and build actually i have a hoe then I have a copper hoe, which requires the hoe. Why did I buy the copper hoe? Oh, I'm such an idiot. We're gonna go ahead and make the hoe. Uh, go ahead and craft the hoe. And then I guess I'll go ahead and make the copper hoe too. Sheesh. Go ahead and make the copper hoe. Okay, so now we have a copper hoe. That is pretty good. Even though I, um, I guess I didn't need the copper hoe, but um, I have it now. I have it now, and that is all that matters. So let's go ahead and equip this copper hoe. Look at it, it's beautiful. I'll be able to plow some more things with this copper hoe. I'm not even gonna have enough room for all these crops out here. Oh man, what a joke. It's fine, it is, it'll is. it be fine, it'll be fine. We'll just start back here, bam, and we'll start over here, bam, and then we'll do one here. It'll be, it'll be fine. It will be fine and dandy. I will plant as many as I can. This boulder is going to have to go. Ha ha! Okay, and then let's go ahead. I have 12 soybeans! Oh my god, why did I buy so many? I have no clue. I can't figure out why I bought so many. It's ridiculous. Okay, and they need water too. Alright, I'm just going to water these real quick. Please don't lose stamina. We're almost out of stamina! Oh no! Oh no. Let me just water one more. One more. Just just one more. Please don't collapse. There we go. Okay, we are done for the day. But in I guess in the next day we can plant some crops out over here. So I mean it's not it's not a total loss. I mean we just have to be creative with our fields, I suppose. I really want this field to go away. Like I didn't really mean to plant it there. Or we can plant it I mean I can plant these out here too. So like we can actually rearrange these fences so let's let's go do that can i rearrange the fences from what is it from here i think it's from here edit farm let's do that real quick can i edit the farm please oh this is wonderful let's zoom out let's see this is the farm can i move the boulder no can i move this i do want to move this though um i guess we could have it extend up to here eventually Oh, uh, I don't know what I want. I'm just saying it's a possibility. When we get rid of these trees and whatnot, we can plant the rest of these soybeans. I wonder if I could just, can we just like do this? Can I, that, there's not enough room there though to plant, to plant any more plots. Um, well, I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything to put other fields over here. It'll be fine. I, that's that's where they're gonna go. It's it's all good. How do I get out of here? Press the Y button. Yes. End the edit. It is okay. I won't worry about editing the farm right now. Let's we'll go ahead and go to bed for the day because all my stamina is gone. And um, 
I'll figure out what to do later. Today is the fishing tournament. Let's go to the Trade Depot between 7 and 10 a.m. Oh my goodness, guys, it's the Trade or the, the, the trade Depot. It's the fishing contest today. That's so exciting. Okay, well, before we go to the fishing contest, I'm going to go ahead and water my plants very, very quickly. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to make it to the fishing contest because that sounds very eventful. So, I'm going to go ahead and water these plants and then I'll head over to the Trade Depot and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, Victoria, I am ready to enter the fishing contest. Do you want to participate in the fishing tournament? Yes, I do. Excellent, the festivities will begin shortly. Please wait just a moment. Yay, we're participating in the fishing contest. Welcome everyone to this year's fishing tournament. Allow me to introduce our hopeful heroes of Rod and Reel. Entry number one, Julie Farms, Julian. Entry number two, Maurice. Entry number three, Green Hill Farms, Fritz. And entry number four, Gamer Chick. Contestants will have a total of four hours and may fish at any fishing point they like. Now, without further ado, let's get fishing. Aw, oh, man, I should have got some fishing bait. I think I wasted it all, though. Fishing tournament. All right, so let's go over here. Can I fish here? I'm gonna fish over here. Whatcha? I guess you can't use your fishing bait, can you? I guess that makes sense. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and fish here and see where it gets us. Come on, I need to catch a fish. Yeah, I'm gonna catch a fish. Yeah. Oh, I caught a freshwater prawn. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. Just gonna fish here. It's the closest spot to fish. I don't know if it really makes a difference if I fish somewhere else. I mean, I'm sure it does, but I mean, whatever. It'll be fine. We'll see how many fishies I I can catch. I'm not catching anything here. What a joke. I'm not catching anything here. Ugh, what a joke. Try this way. Yeah, try it over there. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Ooh, catch a fishy. Catch a big one. Yeah. 72 centimeters. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the other fishing spot to see if we have any better luck. I don't know if it's in my best interest to do that or not. I have no clue. But um, this is where we need to be, so... Let's go over here and fish on this. You! Why are you here? I was I was here first. I can't fish here? What a joke! He's already fishing there, so I can't fish there. Figures. Okay, so maybe that's the only place I can fish right now. Maybe I shouldn't have left. Dang it! Oh, I hope nobody's in my fishing spot. It's fine, I'll just I'll just fish here. It'll be fine. I'll just fish here. I wasted valuable time, but it's okay. Ho ho ho, I caught another freshwater prawn. Okay. Fishy, 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 fishy. Come on, fishies. Ugh, we only have two more hours left. I gotta catch some more fish. What a joke. Come on, fish, be my friend. Please be my friend, Fishy. Fishy, Fishy. No, oh, fishing takes patience, young grasshopper. I don't have patience. I'm not catching anything. I'm gonna lose. Like, this should be like the one contest I could win. But I'm not going to because I have a low tier fishing rod. It's all about the top tier tools and you ain't got it. I can say that again. You ain't got it. Fishy, fishy! Come on, my little fishies. I am waiting for you. You know you want to nibble on my hook. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's so small! It's not even counting towards my. my max centimeter. Oh, I guess it. Oh, it only counts the max centimeter. It's not like a pool. 
So it just takes the largest fish, maybe? Hmm. I guess that's fine. Oh, oh, be a big one, be a big one. 12 centimeters. Oh, that does not do me any good. I need to catch larger fish. I need larger fish, please. Fishy fishy. Ooh. Oh, it's so small. I need to catch a bigger fish. Oh, we're totally gonna lose. I've got 30, 30 seconds. That's all we've got left. That's technically 30 minutes game time, so maybe we'll catch another one. Come on, fishy. Fishy, please. I just want to catch one more. One more and I will be happy, even if I don't win. Ooh, I caught one. Oh, it's 18 centimeters. Catch another one. I caught, I caught one, so it's fine. I caught another one before time was up. I'm pretty satisfied, even if I don't win. Oh, 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 I, oh, man. I could have caught another one. Finish! Alright, how did I do? Well done, everyone. We will now judge everyone's catches. Okay, who won? Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the judging has concluded. I will now announce the winners. The winner for the most fish caught is... Not me. Maurice with 18 fish. Are you kidding me? He caught 18 fish. In second place, Fritz. In third place, Lori. In fourth place, Julian. At least I didn't come in fourth. I came in. I came in third. An excellent showing all around. Next, the winner for the largest fish caught is probably Maurice. Guarantee it. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah! I caught the largest fish. In second place, Fritz, third place, Julian, and fourth place, Maurice. All right. An excellent showing. Congratulations, everyone, on your splendid catches. Now let's begin the award ceremony. Will the winner of the biggest fish category, me, yes, me, please step forward. Yes. Mmm, congratulations. Please accept this flower cart as the grand prize for your achievement. A flower cart? That was a book. That brings us to the close of this year's fishing tournament. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. We hope to see you again next year. I got a fishing cart? I mean, not a fishing cart. It's a flower cart. What does that do? I have no... I have absolutely no clue. Oh, they're proud of me! Yeah! Congratulate me! I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everybody, since apparently if you talk to people at the festivals, it's supposed to increase their friendship with you, like, a bunch. So we're gonna make sure we talk to everyone. Oh, he had a lot to say to us. Thank you for congratulating me. Well, he still doesn't like us very much, but that's okay, because one day, one day he will like us that face. I fished in this river for years now, but I still <laughs> don't have the knack for it. Oh well, it'll be fine, I love you. Oh, she has a bunch to say, too. I wonder if they have more to say with you if you're more friendly with them. Not that I care what they say right now, because what they're really telling me is congratulations, blah blah blah, something about the tournament. Because some people only say, like, one page of dialogue, and other people have, like, two or three, like this guy. And, like her, she only had one thing of dialogue. Marion only had one thing of dialogue. And Giorgio only had one thing of dialogue, so I really wonder... If it's based on, you know, how much dialogue you get from a person. Um, I, I wonder if that's relevant to how much friendship you have with them. Because I really don't know. Like, no idea. No idea whatsoever. Okay, well. Before we went to the fishing contest, I did not... <laughs> I didn't feed the animals in the barn, and I didn't brush the horse, so we're gonna go ahead and hurry back to the house and do that real quickly, and then we're gonna see if we can smash a boulder, maybe two, though I wish it was two. We're gonna see if we can take out a boulder in our fields after I brush the horse and make sure they have food, because I don't know if they have food. I have no idea if they have food, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quickly. Okay, and they do, they do have food, so that is all exciting and whatnot. Let me get my pitchfork and get rid of this compost. Please get out of the way. Horsey! Horsey, get out of the way! I need to, ugh, there we go, that works. Sure. Come here, horsey, let me brush you. 
There you go, you're all better. And I can't use the brush on the cow because she's pregnant. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. If you guys would like to support me and if you guys would like to see more of Story of Seasons, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment in the section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, we are going to continue to care for our animals and our plants and all that good stuff. And, um... What's his name? Rieger's birthday is coming up this month. His birthday is on uh, the 8th, I think? The 9th. His birthday is on the 9th. Apparently tomorrow is Lily's birthday, so we'll have to go tell her a happy birthday. So, until then, I will see you guys very soon with more of Story of Seasons. Bye, guys!